Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I am a plant-based registered nurse and I follow the START Solution. The START Solution was a program developed by Dr. John McDougall and it is detailed in his book, The START Solution. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. I started The START Solution in January of 2020 and was able to lose 15 pounds and have kept it off. You don't count calories, you don't measure your food, you don't weigh your food. You're never hungry, you eat lots of whole food starches like potatoes and rice and sweet potatoes, tons of veggies, beans, legumes. It's super easy and effective. On my channel you will find whole food plant-based recipes that are quick and easy. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Chew on Vegan. And if you're new to this way of eating, or even if you're not, but you feel like you need a little bit more support, I started a Facebook group. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. As some of you may know, this month, March, is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. And my goal is to show you some recipes that are packed full of fiber that will help not only your colon health, but your general health as well. Most people that are on the standard American diet are so deficient in fiber. 25 grams a day is recommended. And centering your diet around whole food starches like potatoes, vegetables, and beans and legumes, you will definitely be able to achieve that goal of 25 grams. So today I'm gonna to show you a creamy white bean and kale soup. It's all gonna be made in the Instapot, super easy and super quick. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is put your Instant Pot on the saute feature. I added a little bit of veggie broth in there. And here I have an onion, two carrots, and two celery stalks that I chopped. So that's going to all go in here. And we're going to saute these for about five to six minutes till they're soft. After these have sauteed for a few minutes, we're going to add about three or four cloves of minced garlic. And I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes too. This is optional. And then we're just going to let this go for about a minute. Then add a little vegetable broth. We're going to deglaze the pan. You want to get all these nice bits on the bottom of the pan because there's a lot of flavor there. We're gonna add a couple of red potatoes that I, that I chopped up pretty small. I'm going to add in my spices, which is some salt, some sage, some rosemary, and a little onion powder. And I'm also going to add in a couple of bay leaves and a couple cups or so of broth. And the star will be two cans of white beans or northern beans. So you want to give this a good stir. Get all the spices incorporated. I think I'm going to add a little bit more broth. I just want to make sure everything's covered. Then we're gonna put the lid on, make sure it's on seal. Then we're just gonna cook this on high pressure for about seven minutes. So we set this for seven minutes. I let the steam release naturally for about 10 minutes and then I just went ahead and it released all the steam and it looks delicious. I'm going to fish out these bay leaf. Be careful, it's hot very hot. Let's be smart. I'm going to take some of this out and put it in this container and I'm going to use my immersion blender and put it back in. This is what's going to make this uh, soup creamy. But you want some texture. over. All right, 
let's put this back in. Give it a good stir. Oh yeah, that made it very creamy. Let's get all that out of there. This is a good time to taste it and see if your um, spices are okay, if you need anything else. That tastes amazing. Now I'm gonna put in about two cups of chopped kale and I'm gonna stir it in and then I'm just gonna put the lid back on and just let it wilt for, you know, three to five minutes and then we will be ready to serve this. And I like adding the kale because that just bumps up not only the nutrients, but the fiber. And we're all about fiber this month. And hopefully we'll be all about fiber for the rest of our lives. So I hope this video inspired you to eat more fiber and to incorporate it into your meals wherever you can. It's super important for your gut health, for your colon health. And um, it's easy, it's delicious. And the best part is it's gonna make you feel great. So this soup is chock full of fiber, so many nutrients. I mean, you're gonna feel absolutely wonderful after you eat this. You're gonna feel full, you're gonna feel satisfied, and your body's gonna thank you. So let's give this a quick little taste. Mmm. You just can't go wrong with the onions and the carrots and the celery and the potatoes. You could even put this over rice. Oh my gosh, bump it up even more. So if you found this video helpful, please leave me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chew on Vegan. And also check out the Facebook group as well. And remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. And what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. I follow the starch solution. Whew, I'm out of breath. From my dance break, baby. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, I hope you subscribe to my channel. You can all. Where's my spoon? <laughs>